What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video, I mean, it doesn't come as a big surprise. We're going to talk about some absolute, they're actually massive news from Blizzard. And it's the fact that Blizzard released this information uh, yesterday stating that cross-realm trading comes with patch 10.15. So that's the 11th of July uh, and free trading to any realm within a region. Uh, the blue post says that players will now be able to trade items in gold directly to characters on other realms in the region. Previously, this was limited to things like conjured items and raid and dungeon loot. But all cross-realm restrictions will be lifted. Play with your friends and trade whatever, whatever you want to, whenever you want to. So this is obviously massive and I'm getting just bombarded with questions about this. So I'm going to try to um, talk about my, my takes on this whole change. Before we do that though, big thank you to every single one of you guys for picking up the 0 to 10 million gold guide support has since this book was released almost three years ago. The support has been insane and this book is now over 180 pages long and it features the best gold making tactics and methods that I personally use in order to achieve multiple gold caps. Best part about it is the fact that you do get every single update done to the guide for free sent directly to your mail. So whenever there is a, a new uh, like patch or expansion, I update the book and I send that updated version to your mail. And for all of the people that do have the gold guide, and if you enjoy it, you're definitely going to enjoy the VIP Discord as well. It comes with a bunch of cool exclusive uh, content, but you can read more about it with links down below in the description. So the changes, uh, how is it going to affect gold making in general? I mean, I've said since day one when they announced the news of region-wide materials and commodities on the auction house that Blizzard wants everything to uh, to have no restrictions. Uh, if Blizzard could add like every single item on the auction house uh, be region-wide, they would. But the infrastructure on the auction house, it wouldn't handle it. Like, I'm not sure if you guys remember on the PTR and even early days uh, when they implemented region-wide materials. Like, that alone made the auction house crash. Blizzard had to put, like, an auction, like, an action throttle on the auction house. So it slows down the auction house after an X amount of posts or cancel scans. Because the auction house can't handle that many actions it, it lacks it breaks the auction house so if blizzard can find a fix for that and tune up the auction house they will do it like it's that's the direction they're going for and i understand why because with something like this you're satisfying the majority of the player base it's gonna give way more supply to uh the auction house Prices like on materials, for instance, will always be available and they will be at a relatively decent price. So it's just for the average dude just playing uh, the game, not really caring about gold making, makes sense. You also, with this change, eliminate a lot of third party uh, communities that does, does like gold swaps and so on. So uh, it's interesting. But like, how do I feel about it? Will it break gold farming? it's impossible to uh, precisely predict an outcome when you have a, such a massive change like this. It really is. Uh, but I think there are some cons and some, uh, also some pros to this. Uh, first of all, if you get a really rare item, like a super item, uh, it's going to be easier to sell it. Sure, someone, if they really wanted your super item that you spend the 2,000 runs in old demand obtaining and somebody really wanted to buy it, they would move gold to a new realm, purchase the appearance, and then possibly move back. But like, only a handful of people could be ours to do that, because it's a process. While right now, you can literally just go uh, on a website like uh, Oribo's Exchange, search up and see where the item is, make an alt, send the gold to the alt, purchase the item on that realm. Uh, so I do think that selling uh, farmed uh, transmog items will be way, way, way easier to move. Uh, also, in terms of prices, I feel like if you play on a high pop or a full pop realm with already prices below the um, 
the region average, you could experience an increased amount of sales because people are already right now moving to really high populated realms like my realm to buy cheap transmog and then they move it to a realm with lesser population on and higher prices and they sell it for profit so you could see a lot of avid collectors move over to these full pop realms with higher prices looking to purchase cheap uh, like transmog that they're missing uh so that's really cool uh like i don't really mind that because i play in a full pop and i have a lot of items uh, but then there's a lot of other things that comes into play as well like uh the, what worries me the most is that people with a lot of time on their hands they can also make a shit ton of gold right they're going to be able to outbeat even me because I don't spend that many hours on WoW in a week that a lot of people think I do. But if you have, let's say I do have a, a crafting team. I craft every single transmog item in the game, pretty much, with some exceptions, right? So right now when the patch hits, I could craft, and I do have an, enough gold to craft like 20 of each transmog item and send those transmog items to every single decent populated realm. Now, in the past, you would have to make new characters on new realms, level the professions, acquire the patterns and the plans all over again on that new realm. And then you could start selling crafted transmog on that realm as well. Now, you don't really have to. You just need to have all the patterns and plans of one realm, craft the items, send it over to another full pop or high pop realm, and you get all the time in the world to uh, post these and undercut scan and... Like, the people with a lot of time on their hands with the correct setup could easily make a shit ton of gold. Um, there's also going to be a lot of opportunity, though, uh, because right now, uh, people that enjoy flipping are going to have the time of their life. Because right now, you can purchase uh, mounts, for instance. Like, if you play in a full pop realm, you can go and check out the prices on, let's say, BFA mounts, and they are going to be... 50,000 gold on one realm and there are going to be hundreds of thousands of gold on another realm so I think there's some good investments if you make the right call and the right predictions there's going to be some interesting gold uh, to be made as well if you get an item and you're not happy with the price on your realm you can literally just send it to another realm sell it on that realm once you get the gold you're not stuck with the gold on that realm you can just send it back to your main realm uh, there's also, and probably the most interesting thing about this, uh, in my opinion, is the fact that it's going to be easier to make gold on like uh, a certain market. If you control the market, if you find the niche, because you can literally, uh, let's take an example of what I'm doing right now, running around on my warlock, killing uh, the mobs for the sealed tomb of lost legion. Now you can do this like constantly. And it uh, doesn't matter how many you get, because you can just send them out to every single realm on EU or NA and make your gold just on that. You can go on a rogue and you can pickpocket for dice and just sell it on 20 different realms. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff like that that you can do, because a lot of people complain about auctions moving slowly in the past, uh, and that's just how it is. Like, you're able to farm faster than things sell especially with collectibles but right now you really have no excuse you just keep on farming keep on posting it on more and more realms and uh, you'll notice that you'll get a lot more sales so that's really cool uh, i'm also interested to see what happened to stuff like black market auction house because for like eight years now i've been having to move gold caps over to dead realms to be able to purchase black market auction house containers for a reasonable price but right now, people need to do a server transfer with gold. They can just, like, send gold to whichever realm the Black Market Auction House containers is on and see if they can get it and uh, buy it on whatever realm, right? Whatever, wherever you can get it the cheapest. Uh, same thing goes if you want, like, a Swift Sulean Tiger on the Black Market Auction House. You can just wait and see which realm it's up on send gold cap to that realm boom a bit gold cap you're not reliant on having gold on the realm so that's also going to be very very interesting uh but uh like 
I've always said this a lot. I know that a lot of gold farmers are looking at this, uh, like these news at a negative angle. But my motto has always been any change is a good change, right? Because you don't want the game to become stale. You will always find a way to, uh, to, to find some sort of edge to take advantage from the news. And I definitely see there being a lot of ups uh, from this change. And I really understand why they're doing it because it's, it's just the way I think that you'll even be able to play EU and NA people can play together in the future. That's uh, the direction that they're moving towards. So yeah, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people who struggle to get sales in the past that can now just expand and sell it on multiple realms or are going to find an easier time in moving their auctions. And I also think that there's a lot of clever people watching this video that will be able to just dominate a certain market, right? A certain toy, a certain transmog item uh, uh, from uh, like uh, different loot sources. You can literally do, uh, let's say you do Silithus only. It's the only transmog farm you do. But every time uh, when you're done with an hour of farming, you just send it to a different realm each time. So you can sell glorious likes on 20 different realms. You can do a Sludge Fen, very popular gold farm. And after every hour, you just send it to a different, decent, populated realm. So there's there's a lot of ways that you can uh, you can make gold with this change. It's gonna be super interesting to see. But of course, it's extremely hard to predict exactly how the prices are gonna move and uh, and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a cool, interesting change. Uh, and very interesting that it's coming in this patch together with the massive transmog changes with Noxramas and Skolomance and so on. So that's really cool. I'm excited. But please let me know what you think about the changes in the comment section down below. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure to check out the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide and the VIP Discord with the links down below. But that's pretty much it for today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.